hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day how you guys and girls are doing hope you're doing great as always please check out the description box for all the nice links also drop a like subscribe if you like this content top right eye as well you got some nice content you can check out if you're interested um but yeah there you go let's do a little quick recap let's see what we did in the last video because i kind of i kind of forgot myself uh we were doing some weapon stuff all right so we we create this generate weapon uh, function and let me just tell you this okay at the end of that video in case you forgot i switched level min and level max these two parameters so this used to say level max this used to say level min so i had to do that for all of these four files here so you'll see i changed that here level min level max i changed that here level min level max and all that so in case you didn't watch the end of that video you'll have that here so what I'm doing is I'm creating a sword here with some default values and I'm generating a sword, the same sword. I'm actually regenerating its values from using levels. So from level one to three, it'll be anything between level one and three. And then we'll get random numbers for all this stuff. So that's all good and dandy. But one thing is we also want some random EXP from our enemies. So whenever I kill a rat, Whenever I kill an enemy, it should give me a certain amount of EXP between that rat's level and whatever kind of generation algorithm we put in there. So anything we want, basically. We have a gain EXP thingy. So I'm going to open up my enemy H, right click, close all but this. So we have our enemy H open. Check out your variable. Go to enemy.cpp and you'll see we have a 10 set as a default. Okay. And initializing variables is going to be based on some random stuff and based on the level of the enemy. We don't have a level as of yet, but of course we do need that. We have an attribute component. So if we open up our attribute component here, it will have, oh no, that's the attribute component. Here we go. Okay. So we do have a level through the attribute component. Okay. So I was a little confused, but now I know what I'm doing. Um, the way I want to do this, you want, might want to do this differently, is that I want to create a function that randomizes all my attributes for me, where I can put in any attribute I want and it will kind of randomize it depending on the level. So go to your enemy.h and in that, below the functions section, I want to do a virtual void generate uh, attributes. And this should be virtual. And we'll generate attributes depending on the level. So cost unsigned level. Or we'll just keep it as a local level. And define this function. And this is going to allow us to randomize stuff as we want it. We don't have to randomize anything. But if we do, we will use this. So generate attributes. I'm going to go into my... There we go. Okay. I'm going to go into my rat.h and rat.cpp, sorry. And in the constructor for rat.cpp, you're seeing that I'm creating an attribute component. I'm going to go ahead and call my generate attributes with this attribute component. Okay. And then, no, I attribute component level. So I'll generate depending on that level. I am initializing some variables here. That's fine if you want to do that. But I'm, in that constructor, I'm going to generate stuff. So we're going to do it two different ways here. You can do it as you want. It might not be the most efficient way, but it's going to help us out. This gain exp equals level multiplied by, uh, we'll say maybe 10 or 5 plus rand maybe five plus one so something like that we will remove this actually multiplied by uh yeah okay fine this is cool this is just a preliminary thing where we'll gain some random amount of exp we don't have to worry too much about that uh if i run this hopefully i'll get a different type of exp back from the enemy once i kill it and once this is done we'll see what we'll work on next okay so 5 exp 4 exp 
and we're getting all that stuff. So that's good. Now I just want to see what I'm getting. So because just numbers in itself doesn't really tell me that much. So I'm going to open my text tag system H and text tag system CP. And the way we create text tags is we use these functions add text tag and it's taking a string, an integer or whatever, whatever like that. What we're going to create here is we're going to do a STD const STD string post fix like that or prefix prefix and a const std string post fix and we'll default those to nothing which is good we'll copy this control c and now we're going to paste it in each one of these and then a comma as well good once you have that done you want to do a comma post that there and you have your three functions with the post and prefix now it's a bunch of redundancy here that we kind of doing stuff double which I don't like but in this case we'll probably have to do that we probably won't have to add more of these anyway so keep just keep that in mind when you once you're doing this sorry about that um, good so we're pushing back some stuff we have our post and prefix that's gonna be I here and this we're just pushing directly this string back there but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a space and then post fix and here we're gonna do a prefix and then a space and just copy this whole line paste it here for the float one and just change the I to a F and you'll have your pre and post fix right there perfect now we have our string. We're probably going to want to do this for string as well. So create a string stream and just write str here for the original string with post and prefix. And then we'll do, uh, let's see, ss.str. Don't forget that. Once you do that, we can create our text tags just as we want. And since they have default values, you don't have to change them for everything only the ones where you want. So I'm going to go to my game state CPP, go ahead down to where you create a text tag, experience tag. And at the very end, very end, we're going to add nothing for the prefix and the postfix is going to be exp. Okay, plus exp. And then once we do a negative tag, we're going to do nothing for the prefix. We're going to do a minus for the prefix uh, or nothing actually. And then minus HP like this. Good. And that's pretty much all the text tags we have right now. Uh, but now we have a kind of a, oh shit. Okay. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's text tag redefinition of parameter. Oh, okay. So in the CPP, probably in the H file, we're going to remove the redefinition of the uh, default parameter. We don't want that. Sorry about that. There we go. Save that and run this. And you should be getting some nice EXP numbers and some damage post fix. So plus five plus EXP minus EXP four plus EXP. Looking good, looking nice, looking nice. So you got that ready. That's good. That's working fine. Text tag system. In the next steps that we're going to do is we're probably going to make sure all this attribute stuff works. I think it works because this generate is just going to take care of the get gain exp. Everything else is taken care of by the attribute component anyway. So when you create a enemy of a certain level, it's going to pretty much get that those values automatically. So you don't have to worry too much. Good. And we're getting there. Now, in the next video, we're probably going to work on some item related stuff, hopefully, and some GUI stuff because I want to see items. I want to start getting equipment ready so we can gain some, some, some of that stuff. And also AI for enemies will be nice. So I have a lot of videos left to go in this series. Hopefully, you're still with me here. And it's a very long series. Some videos are worse than others. I'd really try to keep going. But yeah, hopefully you like it anyway. Take care. Keep working hard.
check out the description box, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.